Mic test, mic test.
Hello everyone and welcome back to another Buddy Bison stream. Hope we're all having a nice day today. This is a fine Wednesday. Uh, we are back again with some more salt and sanctuary. Uh, excuse me while I go turn off uh, the music. Once again, a bit of a shame that there's no music uh, <laughs> on the main screen. Uh, but you know what? It's a good chance to listen to Cold Steel uh, OST. Just OG one. Um, now, uh, you might look in the bottom right-hand corner and notice, Hey, look, uh, the sub-goal isn't I'm gonna eat cake anymore. I decided to change it uh, from the cake one. I felt that that was... I, I like how the Warhammer goes out of the loading screen box. I find that hilarious. Um, but I felt like, you know what? I actually wanted it to be like something not just like a one-time thing like i didn't want it to be a like a one-time achieve goal i wanted it to be like a hey achieve it and it'll go it'll last a bit um also i was downloading all of the cold steel games onto this pc um because i knew that it was going to be um or well basically i knew that i was going to be playing them at some point so i was like okay might as well get them on the computer and as I was downloading CS4, I was like, oh yeah, they released like an Evolutions mod for it. Um, where they made made some changes and made did some cool stuff. And I was like, you know what? Like, I went onto the Discord, I was like, hey, does this affect like the any achievement? Like, does this affect like Steam unlocks for your achievement? They're like, nope, doesn't. So I was like, you know what? I'll make that my goal. I'll make that the next goal. Like, if I get to 15 subs, I'll move that up in the like, uh, essentially like playlist kind of deal. Uh, and... Uh, do that. Um, see, once again, I can't... Uh, I don't exactly remember what all of these uh, look like in terms of um, ability. I think this one has the, um, the transmutation guy. Um, and I'm looking for the transmutation one specifically because... Uh, uh, I think I might have the stuff to transmute my Warhammer at this point. Um, or I might be close. Um, I guess not. Um, I wonder if I need to get it to a certain... Alright, if I need to upgrade it a certain amount, maybe? Uh, regardless. Um, but as you can tell, with the... Uh, with the... Um, Stream title, I'm going to be going back into Hag Hagger's Cavern because that was the right area for me to be in. Uh, the only thing was I just didn't know where to go. Um, but now I kind of do. Um, basically, I was going too high and too low. I was supposed to go in like that middle path. Uh, and then it should have been all fine for the most part. Um, okay, so... I mean, because I'm still using it, I might as well try and upgrade it. Um... If I could upgrade it a couple times, that would be best, but uh, as of right now, it's not the most important thing. Um, but uh, I forget. How much are these sacks of salt? It's 800. Okay. So I'm going to use a few of these. Because um, I believe you're, you're this man... And I can just buy some sacks of salt. Case of salt. Oh, 15,000. Uh, you know what? I'll buy one of them. And one of them. Because mine as well. Okay. So maybe every boss you get, maybe it increases what you can, um, like, do. But I want to do this. Here we go. Warhammer 2. Up to Warhammer 3. And then I uh, need 1,500 to be able to go up one more. Um, that is one where I can probably just... Uh, how much? 22. 22. Damn it, I was hoping. I'm hoping I can just come over here. There we go. Yep, 
Okay, there we go. Get money, get some red shards, get get some of that guy. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Oop, <laughs> forgot that I had wall jump. Okay, come over here. Upgrade. And then one more time. Ugh. It is nice that <laughs> there aren't uh, too many uh, things. And then a Lord's Orders, so yeah, I believe that's the final upgrade for it. And I don't know where I get a Lord's Orders, but that is perfectly fine with me. Um, but time to go back to the, uh, where are you? Time to go back to uh, Hagger's Cavern because it's time to explore. Uh, okay. Oh, there was a blacksmith here. Um, okay, I'm gonna sit down. Tree of skull. Do I have any? No, I just have some gray ones. And right now, I'm moving up the uh, shield branch. Um, although I kind of would like to increase my weight capacity a bit more, so I'm wondering if I shouldn't unlock some of those. Um. Like the class four armor things because uh, I would like to be able to have better rolls uh, and stuff while also having good armor so um, basically I have the map open and I think if I'm looking at it right okay uh, okay I think I'm supposed to go up a tad, and then up over there. There we go. Um, no. Okay. Shit. Yeah. Oh well. Luckily, didn't fall all the way down and die, but. Even if I did die, it wouldn't have mattered all that much. Ah, uh, come on. Okay, bitch. Get up there. Thank you. Okay, because I think what happened last time is I just went too low. I think I can stay up high for the most part. And be fine and get to where I need to be. There we go. Need a good overhead. Ember Skull Ashes... I think that would be. Uh, okay. And I have the map open, but once again, the map isn't too detailed in terms of like enemy placement. It just is more like a general, like very loose platform esque kind of show uh, deal where it's like, oh, there's a platform here. There we go. Two heavies can kill those guys now, which is damn good. Okay. So I think this is where I got to last time. Or I got up here and then didn't keep going. Or did I... Yeah, I got up here to the sunken keep. Um, okay. So, right there. So, and down is where I need to go. Like, apparently over here-ish, or something. Like, around there. It's the next one, like, through here. So I need to go down and to the left a bit more. Putting the torch on so I can see a bit further, a bit better. Okay, and over here. I, if I remember right, there was nothing over that way. I've already talked to him. So there's nothing for me over there. I need to come down a bit further. There we go. 
I'll take him out before he does anything annoying. Okay. So, this is the one. Good. Caution ambush ahead. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Yeah. So, basically, instead of monkeying around, just block with this, decrease the damage some, and then get the second uh, attack off. Oop, 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 oop. Um, gonna do that. There we go. Luckily, they were just freaking out, like they didn't know what to do. Um, go over here. God damn it. Okay. That one, I think, was... Oh, I lost... Oh, yeah, something had killed me. Oh, yeah, the... Yeah, the boss had, I think, killed me. Uh, last time. Okay. So I think, I think that was just me being really slow on the uptake on a lot of stuff. Um, there we go. Take out both of you guys. Don't think about it too hard. There we go. Uh, well, I am curious as to how many... Um, Okay. Well. Okay. You know, I'll I'll let that fly. So long as it's dead. Doesn't really matter now, does it? Okay. There we go. Two. Yeah, there we go. Everything's fine. the ones that have your salt are forced to be a little bit tougher than they would normally be. Okay. There we go. I think this is where I was missing the point. Because I think I had gotten up to that. Yeah, okay. So what happened is I had unlocked that, right? And it moved up this um this like gate but i didn't come back here and try to use the cellar key which i think i got above somewhere to do anything which was the issue uh so that's pretty good um okay and there's a boss here now i don't like going in here with a full um level however realistically i don't want to go back through that area with the intent of um like I think what I, I just have to come to terms with on this is you know this area is a bitch to, this boss is a bitch to get to so I'm just going to try and uh, not worry about it disemboweled husk okay so he seems to have a human-ish okay Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Come on. Oh. 
Okay. Damn it. Okay. This one doesn't seem to be too bad. I think I just need to be a bit better on my... A bit more cognizant of where I need to really... Like, how to attack. Um, and whether or not to, like, have a shield on or not. There we go. But yeah, like, these guys give quite a bit of salt, which is why I'm not too concerned over missing any levels or anything. I'm more concerned... Okay. Okay. More concerned about getting to the boss. Okay, and this might be a boss that I might want to actually remove some armor for. So I can... Uh, so I can just try and dodge him. So that one was fine. It was just, it was, that one was just the rolls. Like, when he hits me with the gun, I take a lot of damage on that. Like, if I could just do a better roll that doesn't use so much of my, um, like, so much of my, uh, so you have that. Wait 15. So, I think... Platinum and chain. Okay, so I have two of that. So, I think it does fire damage. So, I could... I think the gun does fire damage. So, if I could get something that has good fire defense, but gives me a better roll. Blacksmith apron... No, it's great. I'll try it. Yeah. There we go. Take you guys out. There we go. Are you serious? Fuck! Uh, oh well. Okay. You know what that does? You know what? You know what that death means? It means hey. Now I don't have to think about that sixteen thousand salt. Like yeah, it was probably a level or two, but at least now I don't have to think about it. And also, it showed that I can kind of dodge past the guys and just keep going on my way. go. There we go. Nope, nope. 
See you later. Get out of here. Okay. So, hopefully the gun does a bit less damage now. Uh, but... such a range on it, dude. There we go. Ugh. Yeah, the apron... The apron helped a lot. 13,000? Good. Because, like, that fire damage on... that he was hitting me for was mean. Um, okay. Is there no... Did he give me anything? Um... Blessed pay. Key item. Salad kit. Simple save ring adornment. It resembles a ship's wheel, just a lot more dangerous. Okay. So. Seem to do all right here. go. Where do I go from here? There we go. <laughs> Good, get them out. Is this right? There we go. Silver leaf. I was like, surely there's actually just a path, right? Now let's be careful not to die. Mire of Stench. Okay. Now, Mire of Stench. Come in through. Right, because there's that one. Yeah, come up through there. Not exactly sure where the sanctuary would be. But. Oh well. Uh, you know, I, I, I think I'm a bit, uh, a bit, uh, my stench map. Okay, coming through there, looking for. So, okay, so that's, I 
think that's where it is. So let's try and get there as fast and quickly as possible. So, hey, Ras, what's up? <laughs> Why is my stream looking up, guys? Because you know what? I just beat a boss and I don't want to lose all my stuff. That's why. <laughs> so, you know, it's it's just me trying to not lose all of my progress. Uh, nope. There we go. There we go. <laughs> hey, man. Like, are you saying you never looked up a guide when you played, um, when you were playing, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, uh, bu uh, not Bug Fables, um, um, Hollow Knight? You didn't look up a single guide that entire time? I find that highly suspect. Okay, you know what? Serious? Come on. <laughs> there we go. Don't think I'm supposed to be able to make that jump, but I am. Oh no! Ooh, eat the eat the bread. Eat the bread. Eat the bread. Eat the bread. Holy shit! Eat the bread. Holy! Oh, oh my! Eat the bread, you son of a bitch! <laughs> okay. Boom. Good. Okay. Safe. We are safe. We are safe now. <laughs> Eat the bread. <laughs> so this looks like this is, actually looks like two. Oh yeah, no, this is this is probably the most like yeah, this is just two D Dark Souls. Um, now there are differences. Like Dark Souls doesn't have a skill tree that limits you. Like to be like, oh yeah, I want to use like class five, cl one class and. Grand. Like, it doesn't have this kind of stuff. It's all about, like, on the right-hand side, you can see Smeagleton's level with Strength, Endurance, Dex, Willpower, Magic, Wisdom. Those are all, like, you just level up and use the salt in a direct, in a direct path, whereas in this, you upgrade it through nodes to get them. Uh, so that's a unique uh, feature. Um, but yeah, in terms of, like, appearance-wise and, like, overall feel... I would say this has probably the most, like, one-to-one -one 2D Dark Souls. Um, but yeah, that, that thing I did to get here, basically, if you hit roll and jump on the same frame, you, uh, you do this thing called a long jump, uh, as long as you're standing, like, just at, at neutral. Um, so, I configured through Steam my uh to have my select button on my nice red playstation 5 controller to be that combination which lets me do jumps i'm not supposed to um which is probably why i was able to make the jump from up there to over here um because all this like goop down here is supposed to be like poison water that like slows you down it's not hacking it's a feature you could do it naturally if i wanted to if I was, if I was better at the game, yeah, there, I just, yeah, boom, just, I'm doing it with, I'm doing it not using select. Come on, come on, yeah, there we go, did it, boom. I can, I can do it normally, and therefore, it's not hacking, because I have the skills needed to do said thing. <laughs> I'm just making it easier on myself. <laughs> um, but... Uh, another cool thing is you can do these offerings, offer up these, um, offer up these, like, little, uh, things that give passive bonuses to this area, uh, where it's like, oh, uh, I'm gonna have an I am fine bonus, uh, in this area, so enemies I kill will be more likely to drop items and other stuff, then they each have their own features, where it's like, this guy lets me travel to any other sanctuaries that I've been to. Or I have, um, which is pretty useful. Um, and I'm going to go back to Shivering Shores, because I want to go visit the Blacksmith and Alchemist. Hey, how's it going? Transmute. Can I transmute my Warhammer yet? No, you're not letting me. 
you bastard. Um, that's fine. Actually, what about my, um, what about my shield? Tooth, uh, toothus. Uh, I mean, I could do, could just do a shield. Um, actually, why do I? That actually makes my shield worse. <laughs> it makes it way more. Yeah, because saying it's better because I have it I don't have it equipped. <laughs> yeah, this upgrade just makes my shield worse, but way less. Okay, that's it. What's the main goal? Defeat all the bosses are there, sir. Uh, there's, like Dark Souls, there's a story, <laughs> but for the most part, the, my main goal in this is to find the princess that I was protecting when the boat I was on was capsized by essentially a Cthulhu monster. Um, my goal is to find this princess um, and basically I'm wandering the island trying to find her and therefore I need to kill the bosses to get to her. Um, but in terms of just like people being like, hey, I heard this, like it's all various uh, semi-connected things. <laughs> princess, where, where is she? <laughs> where is this goddamn bitch? I'm running around the world for her. But yeah, like this this game, I I think I've told you before. I played it. Um, uh, I've played this game prior um, with uh, one of my friends. We did co-op, and there was a whole bunch of neat stuff you could do in co-op. Um, like uh, <laughs> you could cheese out like drops and stuff because the way the game worked, it would like split screen if you were too far away. And if you hit start, you would open it up and, like, essentially pause your game. But when you unpaused, you would teleport to, um, the other person. <laughs> so you could just, like, take and... You could essentially test out drops by being like, is this going to kill me? Or it's like, is, th is there a platform down there? Jump off. If there isn't, you just rapidly hit start and you teleport back to safety. Um, but this is my first time playing it, uh, by myself. So... Uh, I have a map up on the other side, just to, um, on my third monitor, just to make sure that I don't, um, get too lost. <laughs> uh, because basically that's what I'm worried about. Um, you know what, I want to see where I can get the things necessary to, uh, upgrade. Uh, Lord's Orders. How do I get Lord's Orders? Uh, Petrus, Holocromancy, Split, oh, Split Swordsman drop them sometimes. Okay, Crypt Keeper, Impaled Knight. Eh, interesting. And Mollus Knight Castle. Eh, whatever. Yeah, so I'm trying to uh, make sure I don't get lost as much as possible because last stream, what happened was the area I just came from, uh, I... <laughs> It's a really dark area, and I wasn't able to uh, tell where um, uh, where I was meant to go or what I was supposed to do after doing quite a bit in the area. And I was like, so I just went to a, com a wandered around for a while, and then just went to a completely different area ahead of schedule, and um, beat a uh, guy there. Oh, oh, oh! You bastard! Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna, uh... Okay, bitch. Yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna get rid of that poison. Um, but yeah, like most of these kinds of games, there are traps. There we go. But I have the Warhammer. The Warhammer is a handy dandy uh, killing machine because it one shots most things <laughs> with a heavy. But unlike Dark Souls, there is like a almost a combo mechanic where like if I do a light and then a heavy, I'll do like an upper, like I'll knock people into the air. Uh, in the air, my heavy is like a is like a drop down, a top down one. Um, 
And some of the lighter weapons have like actual combo chains. <laughs> like daggers are really combo heavy, as one would expect from daggers. But it is on a weapon to weapon basis where it's like, I'm giving up a lot of combo ability, but for just raw damage, like one one hit, big hit. Um, and I am perfectly fine with that. <laughs> because look at me, I have big ass reach. I can hit through platforms and uh, one shot some bitches. Okay. One, two. Okay. Yeah, bitch. Bitch. <laughs> I don't have very much poison resistance right now. Okay, the thing's just disappeared. Okay, so when my camera goes down, um, uh, yeah, the the annoying part is those, uh, the the things, um, the uh, those arrows, those poison arrows, freaking, um, <laughs> go through like platforms, like they don't have a. They don't have collision on... Are you serious, dude? Die. <laughs> Just through that wall. They don't have, like, collision on architecture. Which, you know what? Frankly, I am fine with sometimes. <laughs> the audacity of them arrows. Good. Get me up in here, please. Um, and there's a, a torch button. You get a whole bunch of them. Okay. Stone leader, so that's good. I think I only have one of those currently. Come on, get up. How the hell do I get up there? Eh. I think I need like a double jump or something maybe to get up there. Unfortunate. But how are you doing, my man? Hope you're having a, a swell old day. Grand old time. Grand old Opry. Good. Okay, bitch. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna eat some bread. Because you know what? I can I can do that. I have the ability to eat bread. Unlike the French peasantry back in the revolution, uh, I do have the ability to just eat bread. It's pretty OP, I know. Uh, oh, 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 fuck. And unlike Dark Souls, you actually get like, um, world traversal abilities like platforming so that is also uh not perfectly souls like <sighs> okay nice and these mini uh sanctuaries like these mini bonfires uh that usually means there's a boss like close ambush ahead Ambush ahead. There we go. Those guys were like invisible swordsmen that just kind of show up by holding their stuff like that. Like they hold their swords up and then slash you. But they can still be hit during that period of time. Uh, so it doesn't really matter. Um, okay, so I just got another charm. Red hair charm. Uh, greatly amplifies attack power when the wielder is near death. I hate that. You don't want to be near death ever. <laughs> there are two kinds of people in this world. <laughs> ones that are like, okay, that th that's fine. <laughs> well, ones that will build a like build their character around that kind of stuff <laughs> because they're confident that they, they can deal with uh, that kind of. Um, uh, that kind of stuff. <laughs> like, oh yeah, like I can just, I can play on half health or like a third health and be fine. The damage boost is worth it. 
but uh, I am not one of them, especially not in like this game. Okay. Check my phone. Okay. Well, uh, sorry to hear that. Oh, fuck. God damn it. Uh, okay, run away. I forgot that doing the sanctuary uh, healed or respawned everything. Um, usually. Okay, so is there not like a boss in this way? Or was it through? It's been a day. I can I can imagine. Gray Pearl. Hager's Cavern. Ah, sweet. Nice. Venomous Blade. So that opens up that, that shortcut. And I got the day off and I was able to do some Christmas stuff. Nice. Yeah, tomorrow I need to, um... I need to, uh... Uh, what is it? No, not tomorrow. Um, well, actually, tomorrow I need to go get some stuff for... Like, I need to go pick up some rolls. Um, for, uh, for dinner. Uh, or for, yeah, Chris Christmas dinner, yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to go to the bakery down the street where I get that super burger. Um, but other than that, I think on Christmas Eve, before going to my brother's... I'm going to stop by my mom's place. Fucking Christ. Um, and... Um, okay, you bitch. Okay, you... Okay. You know what? I'm glad... Glad that he died. Um, okay, can I just, like, chill out now and try and do this platforming? Because I need to still, um, uh, wrap my mom's, uh, stocking stuffers. He eat it himself. Dude, he knew it was coming. Shit. Are you freaking serious, dude? Oh, you... Uh, uh. Yep. Oh, well. Oh, well. Not much I could do there. Um, my souls are... Or my salt. Are you... Dude. Dude. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Grab the ledge. I understand you have some limitations. You're in heavy armor. I get it. But, like, grab the ledge. I'm trying to help us both here. You fool. And like uh, Hollow Knight, although I think this game came out first, your dead souls are like that ethereal bat. Hardcore parkour, yeah. Um... There we go. Okay, you whore. There we go. There we go. I have no idea what that does. Oh, okay. I wonder if that's like a... Hmm... Okay, so either... Okay, so I think what that might do is permanently set up this thing. And maybe there's like a trap switch somewhere that like future times I come up, maybe that comes down and just like knocks those guys out. Hey, Mr. Light, how's it going, my man? 
Hope you're doing well. We got through that um that deep dark cavern. Um <laughs> Yeah, so I was apparently just like in the wrong area. Like I went too high and too low to get where I needed to uh actually be. And uh yeah. So uh I I went the correct way, opened up a door that I had a key to. Uh, and then fought essentially a uh, a demon piratey guy, who uh, who I needed to put on a blacksmith apron to defeat because he had like a fire gun. <laughs> he kept burning me, but I killed him. So now we're in the mire of stench, um, and there's a whole bunch of poison people. Um, okay, so that was like one way to get there. See that is like ominously suspicious, reminiscent of a different. Thing. Okay. Um, you know what, Frank? I don't like how much salt I have on me, but yeah, like look at that thing over there. Um, but you know, I'm just gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> this that stench most foul. Yeah, they also have a lot of fun with the uh, boss names. Oh god, oh god. Oh, okay, okay. Eat, 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 you bitch, you bitch, you bitch, you bi Fuck! Whore. Look at them pearly whites. Yep. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Okay. So... Okay. Uh, so I need to get back there. And the interesting thing about bosses in this game is because of the, you know, that bat thing, uh, bosses, like, you don't leave a blood stain where you'd pick up your souls, like in previous games. Um, in this one, uh, basically, when a boss kills you, you just have to do a certain amount of damage to the boss, and then you get your souls back, which is interesting. Oh my god, last day of school before breaking teachers went all out with food and garbage. Everyone I work with agreed ahead of time we're not going to finish all our tasks tonight. Ugh. That's terrible. Okay. <sighs> jump, 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 jump. Okay, so I could... Hmm. Okay, do I have any armor or stuff with better, like, poison resist? Because chances are, that's what that thing does to me. So I'm looking for lighter with good-ass poison resist. Chef's apron has a lot of poison resist. <laughs> um, that's class four. <laughs> it weighs 40. Um, okay, looks like I'm putting on a, a chef's apron. How much? How much heavy do I have? Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Take you out. Okay. Let's put that on. Come up here. There we go. Got all my stuff back. Okay. Okay. Eat the bread, please. Okay. Just keep my stamina up. There we go, second try. That's what we're talking about. Uh, why are you still alive? That's mean. Why would you do that? Why would you spawn an enemy that stays alive after the boss? That stench most fowl's tooth. One of its pearly whites. 
Um, okay. Yeah. In, uh, I uh, got those. Yeah, the, um, uh, yeah, the guy that, I, the, the pirate that I was talking about, is, he was the disemboweled husk. Um, actually, there's a beast Jerry, isn't there? Yeah, beast Jerry. Disemboweled husk. Yeah, this guy. Shell, the former uh, dread pirate hogger. He has been disemboweled, and a small doll dwells in his gaping body cavity, controlling his actions like a tiny marionette. <laughs> that stench most foul. Putrescent lord of the mire of stench. This hideous foul creature is said to have emerged from an alchemical experiment once conducted by a woods wraith alchemist with more ambition than caution. The creature was small at first, but upon eating its creator, not only did it grow, but it learned of its love of human flesh. And that, kids, is why you, uh, you don't make things. Just destroy. Okay. Frankly. Okay, so this goes down. Um. Not sure, exactly sure where I'm going right now. I would like to go pop off my souls and be done with it, but I'm gonna talk to you. Hey, stranger. You have a brand looking thing right there. Got clean from there. Good luck, Wu Tai. Thank you very much, Rias. Nice talking to you. You're like me, aren't you? You hunt monsters for their salt, too, don't you? Yes. And that's what I thought. My hunt led me to this mire. Through that cave is a blocked passage. I recognize the barrier, though. It's called Redshift. There's a brand that allows its owner to cut through Redshift with torchlight. It is a secret guard closely by his blood brows, but these are extenuating circumstances. Would you like the brand? Yes, please, thank you. Did you know this game is educational? It makes you read so many crazy words that made me question my intelligence. Yes. <laughs> Very good, your hand. Thank you. Thank you for burning me. Oh, yeah, I still have my... I wonder if I should just, like... Uh, I see with the eyes of a hunter. My people created redshift barriers centuries ago to contain beasts. We are hunters of nightmares, beastly thralls, possessed animals, demonic spirits. We sometimes capture our quarry to be held in prisons of redshift. Sounds full of redshift barriers, but I didn't place them. I don't know how to build a redshift. I don't think anyone does anymore. That secret died generations ago, but they just exist. Um, I wonder if maybe I should just try and rock with like a light armor on my like torso for the most part. Until I can build up my, um, until I can build up my, um, ah, oh, sweet, my ability to, uh, carry more. Uh, I'm not sure, um, and because I'm not sure, um, I'm gonna put you on... And then we're going to um, compare things a bit. You are the same thing. I should probably sell one of you. Um, yeah, because this thing, like, some of the light armor just does not give any defense, so it's not worth it. But they can give better, um, like, element defense. Where it's like, yeah, that guy did poison damage, so me putting on a poison defense thing is better. Um, okay. And I think this area I'm going into, based on the map, is relatively safe. So, yeah, the fort beyond the mire. I just said relatively safe, and now I don't believe my own words. Um, so, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to go back. Um... And this is a path. Um, I can't do anything with yet. Um, <laughs> okay. So what I could do is teleport back. I could do that. 
I could try and fight that thing with the amount of stuff I have on me. Or what I do is I put this on, right? Put put the put the horn on. Just kind of accept it, right? Go in. Potentially expecting to have to just call out. Um Let's have my shield on at least. Um Okay. We're just gonna we're just gonna try and run. I don't want to engage with this man. Seems a tad tad annoying to fight right after big boss, so I'm not going to. Option Dom, the mantle of Crestfallen Warrior that gets to belittle new players, keeping them options open. Yeah, all right. Fuck. Just keep running. Just keep running. Hey, how's it going, my man? Um. Safe passage around the bay. Do we venture east front? Not yet. Next time. Beware Dark Paladin. I must oh 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 oh. Okay. How do I Oh that okay. That's a thing I can jump off of. Okay. I thought that okay. That's why I wasn't doing it, because I wasn't sure if I could make the jump from one wooden platform to another, but I think yeah, that's a wall I can jump off of. Yeah, because there's a guy up there. Like I, I figured there had to be a sanctuary. Blacksmith inside. Left death, right sanctuary. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. And this is actually one of the only places where there's like a naturally occurring um, Iron Ones area. So that's pretty neat. Had three levels on me. Three and a half. <laughs> I am glad to... Uh, I'll just offer a guide, as I normally do. Uh, I am glad that that was not a, um... Uh, a death on my part. Because <laughs> boy howdy would that have been embarrassing. Defenders ring, don't jump, worthless fool. Uh, what are you? Increases your defense to strike attacks. Okay, so how the hell do I get up there? Okay. Jump rune, then attacks. What? Hmm. Okay. Because there's nothing interesting. Oh, well. Can I upgrade my things any? Um. No. Could upgrade that some more, but I don't really want to. <laughs> um. I could always upgrade my armor, but that's something that I really don't ever do in, like, Souls games. Like, that's always one of the things that I think least to do, like, upgrade armor. Because <laughs> it's like, well, you can just avoid damage with a shield or something. Um... Ooh, there's a chest down there. Okay, I'm gonna go get that chest. I missed because I was running away from the paladin. <laughs> um, I can imagine this being a really good grinding spot for whatever those guys are. Rotten uh, raiders, I guess. Drowned raiders. Because, boy howdy, dude, those guys just slow moving. <laughs> okay. Gotta check for mimics. Boatman's Waraji, Boatman's Susa. Okay, so... Boatman's Mino. 
Ancient Boatman. Okay, light armor. Yeah. I'm not going to be dealing with that. Um, okay, so let's see if I can't figure out how to do that jump. Because it seemed like it was something I could do unless there's another power-up that would let me do like that tight of a um that tight of a turn okay, how much do i need to look nine thousand i need a thousand stuff yeah i'll just go down there and kill a guy or kill a couple guys as i just said pretty darn good place for grinding boom already got 1100 bam like <laughs> Easy as pie. And I didn't have to use any of my salt bundles or packets. Which is nice. Which is wonderful, in fact. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Going, going, and going. Only way we can go is up. <laughs> Only needed a thousand, got like two thousand. Yeah, we, we call that being a winner. Uh, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make an offering, and I'm going to offer a... Um, a leader to see if I have any um, things necessary to uh, um, okay there's willpower that increases that increases my stamina it would increase it a pretty significant amount um, so you know what I'm gonna do uh, but I could also go this way and get a whole bunch of endurance However, that's class four shields. Um, this way leads up to there, whereas this way does doesn't. Like I'll probably end this one here. Um, and uh, more stamina means more attack. Yeah. Okay. Here's what I'll do. Work up towards that one. A bit, and then uh, also tag that one, right? That way, I'm a little bit closer to that one. If I get like four more levels in pack, I'll just get that. Um, but this way, I at least get a, a little bit more equip, uh, equip, equip load, while also having more stamina in general. Okay, work. Okay, so I don't have enough to go up another devor devotion thing, not devotion. Um, uh, but there's, I've at least done some stuff. Um, buy, ship is Dirk, Axe, Snapheed Raider Axe. No, okay. Not selling anything good, unfortunate. Okay, so is there a way? Does not seem like it. No. Uh, well, I forgot to this, but I started seeing everything as a connection to lances. That Lucerne you're using is such a funny hammer lance. I mean, a war hammer is nothing but a very blunt lance, right? Like it's just it's just it's just a flattened lance that you don't shoot, right? Like that that's all it is. There we go. See, I wish those rotten raiders were actually worth something. But yeah. So th this area is quite literally just specifically to give you a sanctuary after the mire. And to give you a place uh, geographically to a boat. Because um, this is level, like this is area 11. And literally on the opposite side of the island, on the right side of the island, not the left, there's area 12. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you just, the far beach, just all the way around area 12. Uh, so, you know, just want to be careful here. Um, okay, so, and then 13 isn't up here. It's through the area I'm about to get into. 
but now I have um, the redshift ability, so I can get through those blocked ways. And there was one down at Hagger's Cavern that I might want to uh, look into. It's too long to be a Warhammer. Is everything oversized in this game? I mean, it's a Warhammer. Uh, yeah, I think things are probably a bit oversized in this game, all things considered. Um... And Marshall Flare, Stone Cleric. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh my god, oh my god, holy shit. Did you see how much damage that thing did to me? Take you off. Oh god damn it. Yep. Yep, that's not worth the that's not worth the fight. I was at magic pixel. <laughs> um Okay, so going down into here. Am I even able to go in that upward path? I'll think I'll just explore that upward path a little bit more. Uh, well, so the night sky does look pretty nice. Oh my god, hello there, sir. His whole vibe is... <laughs> she calls me daddy, too. <laughs> like this big guy. Um... Oh, god damn it. Okay, there we go. God damn it. I forget that these guys, I'm not... I'm probably just weak enough that I can't kill these guys with a light, but I can with a heavy bag of earth. Not even salt anymore, just earth. Okay, time to go up <laughs> this big ass thing. Ugh. Dude, my bu it's bicep day right now. Is like, holy crap, all these lifts. <laughs> okay, there we go. We've topped it. Let me holy here. Praise the approach of night. Just keep rolling. Yeah, this is, that is a faster way. Go down, ziggurat of dust. Yeah, so this area, ashen effigy. Yeah, this area is area 16, whereas the one I'm going to is 13. So a couple areas too early. So I'll come back to that. Um, I wonder. Gray Pearl. Not sure if I'm supposed to be able to make that jump. There we go. Oh god. Um God damn it is so dark without a torch. Yeah, I just wanna get back to the friggin' dust place. And do that like griffin looking boss that I didn't kill last time. There we go. Oh. Okay. 
Okay, Spear Imp's Horn. Okay, cool. I just don't want to fight these guys. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he just bodied me. Okay. So, I think what that means is I'm actually meant to go down through that lower path. But, uh... Whatever. Um... Okay. Instead of going all that way around again, uh, because I already went into that area, um, I can just do this. Travel. I'll just go into um, Dome of the Forgotten this way. <laughs> and not waste my time. Uh, buy items, anything good to buy. Um... Yeah, let's buy some Blessed Pages. So maybe Holy Damage will be good or something. I don't know. Um, let's shop. Buy some Calling Horns. Um, yeah. Sanctuary. There we go. Buy... So that's all that area, I think. There we go. File of Undersight. Yeah, so I got KO'd. Huh. thing please try and fight me god damn it I was really hoping it would like aggro to me from this range um do I have any bows or something like could I use a bow on it It's only an offhand? Flintlock pistol. Uh, yeah, I can't even use it, so it doesn't allow me. Unfortunate. So I would like those souls back, but I don't have the necessary skill to to do that. Oh well. Guess I'll just be Hmm. Where was cuz I know there was a it was like a uh... Are you serious? Damn it. Well, those things hit hard. Oh well, it was only it's only 9000 salt. Not bad. Okay. So, time to try and find where this boss is. Actually, maybe it was maybe I was a fool and it was up here. So I did kind of rush this area a bit.
go. How much do you prep yourself to be calm before playing this game? I mean, in terms of calmness, I would say I don't really prep myself to be calm. Uh, in terms of prep to, like, pre-playing, I it really depends how stuck I was in the previous session, right? Like, I looked up stuff about the cavern prior to today's stream because I didn't want to be stuck on the cavern again. Um, but for anything else, it was just kind of, uh, you know, playing by the seat of my cheeks. Uh, I think... I think you just kind of get more accustomed to it. Like, the more Souls games you play, the less you really get stuck on the idea of, like, ah, oh, darn, I lost some Souls. Because, like, you know you can just get them back. Like, it's just a matter of, like, being willing to maybe grind out for a little bit. But overall, it's not that big of a loss. Um, it's a much bigger... Ah, yeah, shit. Go. It's like a, it's more of a big deal to just like not know where to go. Like I can get back everything I lose purely by, um, purely by grinding, and it wouldn't take all that long to grind anyway, either. Beware monster left. Try flame. Okay, so maybe it's weak to fire damage. Um, pitch fire. Can buy some of that as well. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's let's try it. Honestly, should have uh, come in here, or should have gone in here prior. The third lamb. Okay. Uh, I'm not doing a lot. This guy either has a lot of health or I'm just doing crap damage. So he's entered second phase. Okay. Okay. Uh, I can definitely do that. That That is not the most unrealistic fight I've ever done. <laughs> um, I think what I would like... 
make an offering. Um, yeah, let's get a merchant in here. Because I think you can sell me pitch fire. Yes. It's only like 500 as well, so I'll buy nine of it. Okay. And there we go. So, okay. So I just need to be careful that I know what I'm on in terms of my item usage. Um, and that and this boss does pretty decent physical damage, so I don't really want to switch off of it just yet. Um, I think the way to go is because I I'm because I saw like the elevator was going up and down. God damn it. So where does the elevator... Uh, where does the elevator occur? That's my main thing. I need to know where the elevator happens. Oh, fuck it. gonna pair you like a filthy casual <laughs> uh, because if I can find where the yeah that's an annoying part I think about a lot of the jumps where it's like hey you're going on to a break a, a thing that breaks <laughs> have fun because I swear when I was streaming on Monday I was able to get back to the boss a lot faster. So did I come up this way? I wonder if, um, I wonder if equip load changes how fast you're able to scale, um, uh, scale things. Okay, so it's here. Okay, you bitch. Get out of here. I'm busy. I have a whole bunch of you. Okay, you are pretty darn slow. So I shouldn't really rely on you, but maybe using you as a kind of buff heal when I, I'm good, but I just want a little bit more. Okay, so let's put you on. Go into the boss fight. <clears throat> and just be careful. So now I kind of know this guy's... too early. Ooh. Shit. Okay, bullshit that that hit me. God damn it. Fuck. Okay, come on. Okay, 
You're an ass. I think I, have, I think I have too many items on my hotbar. I definitely can't rely on the quaff. I'm not gonna rely on the quaff. Um. Okay. Not relying on you. You're actually worthless to me. Um. And yeah. So let's see if I have anything that gives me lightning defense. Sold Miner, but that puts me way above. Um, where's my thing? And I was sixty, eighteen to twenty. But I'm gonna have a lot better um, lightning defense. Twelve. If I could get some lighter stuff. That. That lightning defense. That was lighter. Pretty cool. No. <laughs> Doesn't exist. Four point one. Yeah, so I'm not gonna be getting Okay. So there's basically no way for me to get um heavy roll or to get light roll and good lightning defense. It's not happening. I really... Yeah. Also want to friggin' decrease the amount of damage I take. Prior to the boss fight as much as possible. Because that's already one roll that I now do not have for the boss. Um, there we go. Yeah, see, the thing is, this boss fight, I feel like I remember it being a whole lot easier. Like, a whole lot easier on co-op. Because the thing is, right, like, a boss is only ever dangerous in one direction for the most part. It's like, wherever it's facing, that's where it's dangerous. So the, the, the fact that, like, jumps back and forth, and it would always have its back showing to someone... And therefore, that person could just always beat up on it. Um, okay. So, I'm going to take the lightning one off, because I don't think it's worth it. I would rather just focus a bit more on um, this. Um, now, the unfortunate part is I would have liked having the better roll purely for the sake of... Um, purely for the sake of... Um, oh, my God. Okay. Uh, what happened to that that other attempt where I just did amazing? Bait out that. Okay. Because then a, a better roll would be pretty nice in avoiding that bullshit damage.
my god, are you fucking serious? God damn, he was one shot. Ugh, I could have handled that so much better. Oh damn it. Okay, okay. And that, and that one started out so poorly. Ugh, okay. Ooh, that got my heart beating. <laughs> your heart beats like the beat of the drum. And then a burn and a burn and a na -na -na. Oh my god. Is there a way to like see these guys without using an item? Because like holy shit are they annoying. Like, they are some of the most annoying things I've ever fought. <laughs> it's just like, I can't see them. <laughs> and I have to deal with them. Um, you know what? I don't feel like you... I'll use those consumables to get up to full so I don't have to use one of my breads. Uh, how much... Uh, unless what I said before didn't pop up. Uh... I mean, the last thing I see on your from you is how much do you prep uh, yourself to be calm before playing this game? Uh, okay, unequip that. Okay, so just need to chill out, play it smart. <clears throat> I basically have to block the the sweep. Oh, come on. Doom got curious and don't think it's too big of a match. Fire is correct, but you resist the hell out of strike damage, which I'm guessing your Warhammer does. And I mean, big strike defense. Yeah, I, it, I mean, as far as I can tell, there's not much I could really do about that other than maybe. Maybe I want to swap down to a battle axe. Um, which I could do. Um. Uh, okay, so you know what? Let's yeah, let's go do that. Let's go back to um, Shivering Shore, where I know there's a, a blacksmith, and um, actually, what I need to check out my skill tree because I can wield class two hammers and axes. Transmute. And transmute to a Raider Axe or a Kraken Axe. Okay. <laughs> so, can't really do much else. Venom Arbalos. Uh, so, I could get it up to a Raider Axe, which I might want to do. Uh, yeah. It's tr okay. Yeah, you know what? That, that probably explains it. Um, uh, I can either... Actually, do I really want to use an amber idol? Well, how many amber idols am I going to use? It's just for tra just for transmutation. Um, okay, so let's let's pop some um, 
Some sacks. 800. 800. How much do I need? Transmute it. 3,500. Ooh, that's quite a bit. All things considered. Um, that's what I'll do. <laughs> As, as we've discussed, and you have a blacksmith here, so that's perfect. Yeah. Okay, so fire with, um, fire with uh, an axe, or with a regular axe instead of a war hammer, should be pretty good. Okay, 4,000. There we go. Nice and easy. I'll probably need a bit more because I'll probably want to upgrade it a little bit, but whatever. Um, screw it. Make offering. Where are you? Alchemist, get over here, you son of a dog. Um, transmute. You. Go up to Raider Axe. Right, because, yeah. It's going from D and D scaling to A in strength. While also having much better stuff. Okay. Here we go. Thank you. Raider Axe. Done. Okay, you. Upgrade. To upgrade you, I need a Lord's Orders. But you, Endless Fang, is fine. So let's upgrade you. Trying to give myself as good an advantage as I as I have on this on this attempt. Um, hateful jawbone. Um, you know, I'll stick with what I currently have. I think I think I'm good where I am. Um, work. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, okay. Now let's travel. Go back to the uh, dome of the forgotten. Okay, and now swap you to that. Uh, do you consider me telling you defense is cheating? Nah, because that that's just like stat stuff. Like, I, th I think that's fine because that is a massive decrease. Holy crap! Okay. Oh god. But my playstyle is gonna be a whole lot different. <laughs> yep. Not used to actually <laughs> Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm actually gonna come back here. Do that. <laughs> and then when I get to the when I get to the boss, I'll swap it out. Because if this guy would just do as I intended him intended him to do, instead of as I Oh my god, where are you? Ugh. I hate I hate these enemies. I hate them so much. Bronze, bronze axe knights. Ugh, god damn. Like, it really sucks because I just <laughs> had to use a heal thing prior to, like, the actual fight. And I'm gonna need, like, every single one of those. Okay, I wish there was just, like, a ring or something to put on that passively lit up those... Assholes. Um, okay. So. 
question is, do I even want, right? Like, do I even want to two hand this axe or would I rather just always have the option of blocking? I'm gonna take that off. Okay, let's put that on. Okay. I do have to remember, not gonna be doing as much per hit. However, the defenses might make it seem like that. Okay, will you... Oh yeah, now you use the lightning and I get this far away. You wanna use it again, bitch? No? You're gonna jump at me? I need to remember that there are moves that you're meant to... You are actually meant to jump. That's not one of them. Hate these things. Hate, hate what, my lord bison? I don't fucking know. Whatever tickling my lower intestine with a blade. Yeah. Ugh. Um. See, it's such a different play style, too. Right? Like, I'm able to hit a lot more. Um. I'm wondering if it might just be worth it to go with, like, a, a light armor... Like, yeah, I'm not going to have 80 lightning defense, but I'll at least have a, a decent roll. <laughs> and I can, that I can actually use. <sighs> Did it do any more damage? Um... See, it was probably faster, like, overall. Okay. I... I hate these fucking enemies, man. They're so annoying. Invisible enemies are the worst in every game. <laughs> like, they were the worst in Neo The World Ends With You. The chameleon enemies sucked ass. <laughs> Ugh. Now they're in this game. Um... You know, maybe the issue was that... Like... Like, right, like... Because two-handing it makes it more powerful just base. Like, as one would expect. So, it's probably better for me to just... Two-hand it. And now, with a good dodge... Uh, deal with it that way. The annoying part is, like, this enemy, like, when it does the f thing, like, the, the boss is too big to, like, unless I'm standing up right next to, like, right up next to it, I'm not able to go through him on that roll. So I end up in front of him. And when he does, like, the jump sweep, he hits on the sweep and then makes a splash on the ground when he lands. So the only way I could avoid it is by going out. Like, I have to go away from him. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, of course that time it hit me.
Yeah, okay. That's the one. Okay. Oh my god, yeah. Uh, that that was the best attempt yet. So yeah, that's the way. So I guess the game is a bloodborne he healing system. Um, yes and no. Honestly, I think out of video game healing systems, I didn't mind Bloodborne's because there was the active one with the blood vials. Uh, now it sucked that you had to go like the blood vials were collectible, like they weren't infinite, but. Um, I will say it was uh, pretty nice that, like, after you got hit, you essentially had an opportunity to get it back. Oh my god. Damn it. Yeah, I'll just keep my shield up, you fuck. <laughs> yeah, get out of here. <laughs> I'll, I, I will literally just keep my shield up. <laughs> you won't do, like, any actual damage to me. And congratulations, I have avoided you. Okay. Going to need to buy some more fire after this attempt. I uh, know, I just have a nice to get bread when you revive. Yeah, oh yeah, that's definitely better. Fucking Christ. God. Heal with bread. Why does that hit me up so fucking high? Die. Good. Done. Fucking done. There we go, you son of a bitch. Fucking ass. Ugh. Ugh, God. Hello there, how do you do? The air, it's so still. I was drawn to this dome for reasons I don't understand. It's so lonely here, I long for a friend, but I think I've driven everyone I've loved away. Tell me, have you heard of Hard Light? Um, no. Well then, let me tell you. Hard light has been described as not unlike crystallized moonbeams. It can only be seen and touched by those that possess a hard light brand. But even those unable to touch hard light will see its traces. You'd like that brand, wouldn't you? Yes. Yes, as I thought. It was as simple as that, except this brand. Okay. This is the thing that will let me traverse the rest. Yeah, right here. You come here, I think, too. I enjoy solitude, of course, but you're welcome to join me. Hell, maybe even today. <laughs> uh, I like to think about how meaningful my actions are. Making real change. This is what I bring to the world. Okay. And now I can go back to being my Warhammer man. But now I ha at least I have that uh, as a backup just in case now. Which is good. Oh my god. Are you... Fucking serious. Ugh. I don't even know where that one is. 
Uh, okay. Let's use my ring. Whatever. Um, where? I, I got a ring. Here, up. Putting that back on. Because going back to heavy. Visible enemies, so, like they drop files of undersight, which I presume let me see them. However, I do not want to have to pop a consumable every time I just want to fight an enemy. Like, that's not desirable to me. <laughs> Goddamn. Two levels, good. But the slash plan worked out, by the way, even if I couldn't see it. No, it worked great. It worked great. That was actually, that was exactly what I needed, because I probably would have been ramming my head against the wall for the next while, if I didn't know that. Um, okay. So... Do I want to work up towards more shield? Uh, and just unlock... That... Well, actually, my end game is to be two-handing, like... Because basically... This allows me to wield class 5 great hammers and great axes. However, I can only two-hand them. So, I would say overall it's more worthwhile for me to upgrade um, my, uh, my armor. So, I'm going to try and do that. Um, and now that I am here... Um, uh, what's, what would be a good way to, okay, you know what we're going to do? Uh, I want to get one more level and I want to do it safely. So we're going to go back to the Fort Beyond the Mire and just do this grind a little bit. Because I don't want to go to a new area with, um, like new enemies, potential, like losses. Uh... Potential losses and lose it. And it doesn't take long to get a pretty healthy sum. Um, also, I could. I wonder if having two grasping ring. Because that's I, I believe the grasping ring, it's like each one increases it by 10. 10%. So I'd be getting 20% more with it. And, like, my previous ring, the ring that I had on was the fused metal ring. Gives me a bit more equip load, but if I don't need it, then why, uh, why bother? Okay, so I only need a bit more, and I'll just use my pouches. So each one gives 100, this, I think, gives 250. There we go. Level up. Get rid of my stuff, please. Thank you. Uh, do you have anything for me? No. No, that's fine. Um, okay, so now... Now that I can go on hard light, there's actually a couple things that I can do. There are places that I can go um, that I remember. Because if you remember when I went down to the bottom of Hagger's Cavern and got over to that far end, and got over there and was like, I can't go anywhere. 
Uh, this sucks. There's like there, there's a sanctuary over there. Um, <clears throat> I could use hard light to uh, to do that. Um, additionally, what I could do uh, is go to uh, where is it? Uh, I could just go. So don't have forgotten, go to the next area. Which, you know what, I'm gonna do. Because this is the obvious intended one. This is like the big area, as far as I remember, that um, it's like, hey, you just got this new ability. This is the area that you could, like this is an entirely new area that you access through use of this ability. Um, because, I'm not sure if anyone remembers it, but when you came out over here, uh, you saw, like vestiges of of like a path. I actually don't think I'm supposed to be able to make those jumps, or I came out from the wrong angle. Hard light reminds me of the name Destiny Auto Rifle with the same name. Fire of how I got my name. It all goes around. All goes around. Yeah. See, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Uh, Guardsman Halberd. I don't think I can use that. Yeah, no. Because this is a pole axe, which is different than the things that I used. But, you know what? I'm glad that I was able to make those jumps, because I didn't want to have to figure out where to go. And just using the long jump feature. Feature. Oh my god. Uh, using the mouse floating castle. Using the long jump feature, I was able to... Uh, just do it without any issue. Okay. Are you... Sanctuary... Sanctuary downright. Did you mean upright? Hope you meant upright. Just keep killing. Great drop ahead. Okay, you said... Downright. So I'm gonna believe you and think, hey, maybe I came up like the wrong way. Like me making those long jumps let me <laughs> go up a place that I shouldn't have been able to. But whatever. Okay. So they they did mean. <laughs> when they said that way, they meant that way. So let's claim the sanctuary. Good. Now I can come back here. Uh, did I pick up a guide? Yes, I did. So, let's... Uh, uh. See, chances are, th this place, based on the map, very alone. Like, it's not a... It's not an interconnected area of the map. So, I'm just gonna hold off on... Doing anything. Cut another stone guide. Okay. Don't jump. <laughs> okay, so maybe that... The way I was supposed to come up, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Basically telling me, hey... Maybe you you might want to actually work. You know what? I'll just use it. They gave me one. I'll use it. Um, I also have several clerics, several mages. You know, I've yet to summon an iron one mage. So let's check this out. Uh, Fonty, where are you? I need you around to coax XP out of Bison. I'm so damn close to evolving. <laughs> I mean, hey man, I changed the uh, I changed the uh, what should I call it? Increase magic. The uh, sub goal <laughs> to to include the thing. Could could that be a passive X XP? <laughs> He's journeying to the east, selling metals. At some point, I started making an interest in the works of traveling mages from the Citadel of Living. Eh, whatever. Okay. Let's go up here. Um. Oh my god. Oh god. You are... You are a chonky... Okay. Okay. <laughs> Crypt Keeper. Okay. Okay. Um... Uh, 
I'm looking at the scummy dumpster player bison found the lucky egg. Yeah, right? I would love to. There we go. Too heavy is good enough to kill. Nah, it's silver salt. Oh, damn, I didn't have a charm on. Increase attack by cost. It's use your salt per attack. Screw that. You cannot pay me. To have to put something like that on. There we go. Great pearl, nice. And that's what we like to see. Hateful Jawbone, Frozen Reliquary. There we go. go. Doing wall jumps upside down. There we go. Two heavies to kill that thing. That's nice. When, when you have to only use two attacks to kill something, you're pretty solid, all things considered. Okay, frozen reliquaries. Good. Black pearls. Horn of steel. Okay. I really want to transmute my warhammer. But are you serious? Maybe I'm not supposed to be able to make that jump yet, but I will long jump it. Definitely feels like a jump I'm supposed to be able to make. Like it, everything leads me out to that area. Anything else out there? Doesn't seem like it. Maybe there's a hard light thing or something. Okay, so it just didn't let me grab that. Neat, cool, thanks. Much appreciatoed. Okay, so maybe I need to go at it from the top one? top area. Maybe me going all the way down is the issue. Because this is definitely the path. So unless I just don't have an upgrade, which doesn't make sense to me, then I should be good. Oh my god. Okay. So I'm able to get up there. Kinda. If I do the long jump. Which is not an intended thing. Like I, like, I feel like I should be able to make that jump anyway. Because the long jump isn't an intended path. Like, that's not how I'm supposed to be doing this area. But this entire lead-up makes me think that this is the correct way to go. Which is unfortunate. That I can't seem to really figure out what I need to do. Because that's that's looks like a ladder.
Okay, so definitely was not intended to come up this way, given that that was a ladder that I was meant to get here and kick down. <laughs> okay, so I'm coming at something from the reverse side. <laughs> Crystal Sphere. Probably meant to be the reward for whatever I'm doing. Yeah, crushing a sanctuary to convert that sanctuary to your creed. Um, although I need to remember that I have the stained page. Um, and... Uh, that's actually going to be pretty important. Yeah, definitely coming out from the wrong angle. But it makes me it makes me wonder if I can just do that. Yeah, definitely seems like I can. So I'm going to. Or Murdiella Mall. Maybe this is where, maybe this is how I'm supposed to, and I'm supposed to have like a. Oh God. Okay. Heavy magic damage. Heavy magic damage. <clears throat> That was quick. Um, okay. Uh, wish I could spend my money on stuff, so... Make an offering... Ooh, I only have one more merchant. Um... Travel... Trans pass. You are just passively a merchant. Shivering Shore. Yeah, because I also want to come here so I can. Um, yeah, let's buy a case of salt. Be done with that. And I want to check out transmutations. Raider Axe. When are you going to... Actually... Um... Obsidian Pillar. How, what do I need? Transmute with Armor, Guardian's Ashes, Amber Idol, and 10,000 Salt. Armor, Guardian's Ashes. I could have sworn that I had those. Armor, Guardian... Ashes. Uh, Armor Guardian. Have such a dome of the forgotten. Big thing. Okay. You know, I wanna, I wanna see if I can get this thing. This game have some biblical theme concerning the last boss was called the Third Lamb. Probably. I mean, they might also just be using a lot of Christian imagery. Just because it's cool. It's like, oh yeah, it sounds cool. The third lamb. Sound, sounds like a cool thing. Um, okay. So, let's... Um... Oh. Use this. Going to the Dome of the Forgotten. Wait, are we? Oh, wait, no. I don't want to go to the Dome of the Forgotten. Ugh. Okay, you know what we're doing? We're just gonna go back to up there and see if I can't try again. Don't feel like grinding out Dome of the Forgotten for a, um, here we go, no, the Castle. I don't feel like grinding out that specific area, because I hate it, I don't like it, um, for a 
enemy drop. goes somewhere. Third sacrifice seems like a really big deal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the nice part is this this ladder means I don't actually have to fight any enemies. Oh, nope. Was not ready. Okay. So this So my shield. My shield, my shield, my shield. You have, you have how much, like you're definitely more of a physical shield. You don't have much in the way of magic-y stuff. So is there any better magic -y shields that actually, I guess they can weigh more. It doesn't really matter. You're using a plan at night one gonna change to that one so I only have look at one um, see the thing is I also didn't <laughs> actually don't think I successfully blocked anything either um, you know what let's yeah let's pop that on okay there we go and pop that on. Okay, so we're gonna be trying to one hand this one and being very careful. Fucking Christ. If any. Okay, so that is definitely some kind of arcane. I can't take any hits. Um, hmm. <laughs> okay. I think I need to go back to that. Um, well, actually, here's what I can do. In my offhand... Here's what I'll do. my offhand, I'll have the same setup, but with a... Um, decreases melee requirements for, okay, so maybe instead of, how much, okay, it takes about half. Uh, okay, but it might be worth it. Hmm. You know, I'll I'll rock. I, I'll try it with. Um, I'll try it with this for now. Um. go. Don't even want to fight that thing. Oh, hello, Abriatus. Fuck off with those space lasers. Oh, god, yeah. Abriatus was probably one of the hardest uh, Bloodborne bosses for me personally. Okay. Going in. So I know I have a shield that can block all of the damage. Okay. So that's fine. Okay. So 
So that's the one I have to be careful of. Because this one, not too difficult to block. But because it's going towards those small parts on the ground. Um, but the but the ones that like specifically target me, those I have to be a bit more careful about. But luckily they don't take up all that much stamina. Yeah, like I'm not gonna be shit. But they're proximity based, which is the annoying part. But at least I have a a good roll to be able to get through her. Fuck. Damn it, I got greedy. Yeah, that was that was a greed death. That was a greed death. Hate to see it. Basically, I went for more attacks than I should have in that situation. Instead of going for damage, I should have just held up my shield, basically. Because she was at, like, just about half health, I think. Which is pretty... Pretty good. Or no, she was actually at. Oh, are you fucking serious, man? Yeah, she was at better than half health. Um, but I was just a fool. Okay, dude, can you, like, kindly fuck the hell off, man? Hey, dude, come over here. Like, I will say, it's, I, feel, I feel like sometimes the game is just like, we're just going to either drop an input or we're just not going to do an input the way you want. Or, like, we're not going to interact the same way that you have in every other one. Oh, fuck. God damn it. And also, I think that those wooden plat- Like, why is there a breakable wooden platform there? Right before a boss. <laughs> like, to me, that's dumb. Unless this is the non-intended way, which it seems like it's the intended way to come into this boss fight. We know you're pronouncing Abriatus. Uh, a bri a, a, e a briatus uh, Yeah, it's a, it's a weird one. Because isn't it like a brain part? Um, like, isn't it- a thing. Ooh, okay, okay, got greedy. Yeah. Okay, let my stamina get back up. All those out. Okay. Well, luckily, it's all arcane damage. Or it's all whatever. It's all one type of damage. It's not like a split damage. So I can just block it completely with my shield. If it was a split damage, that would be annoying. Ooh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh god, okay. That was that was just barely safe. Ooh, okay, okay. Okay, so that does a spin, so might as well just. Might as well just try and take that on the chin. Okay, okay. Oh, fuck! Okay, so that, like, that one... Okay. 
that's all arcane as well and does cannot break my full guard. So in that case, what I should have done was just kept blocking and then um, kept blocking and then waited until whatever point they decided to start using spells again. There we go. Uh, you're thinking of the brains. Uh, amygdala. Yeah, amygdala. That's it. Uh, so, Abriatus, Abriatus, Abriatus. That is one where, like, it's probably based off of some Latin thing, right? Right, like, more likely than not. So, there's probably, like, like, I'm curious, because, like, it's a, it's a Japanese game, right? So, like, it's probably written in katakana or something. Um. please okay okay that was dumb of me Ugh. I'm not relying nearly as much as I should on my shield I'm wasting it away. Thank Cthulhu, words and names make our heads hurt. Yeah, basically. I mean, isn't that, isn't that the entire point of Bloodborne? My brain. I, I see it has eyes. Um, okay. So, what is that? Increases attack reach. I don't think I need attack reach. Um, increases attack speed. Reach focus. Increase attack power. Cramp. I mean, if I'm at zero, maybe it doesn't. Cramp attack power when we're near death. Adds poison, as lightning. Maybe I'll do this. Because I'm already... I'm basically doing the equivalent of face-fucking this boss anyway. So, like, there's no issue there. In terms of... Me... Um, in terms of me being in range. I don't need an increased attack range. So if I'm just doing that, maybe attack speed would do better just for DPS purposes in terms of charms. And then maybe I'll try and find out what um what element they don't like. Okay, do that. <clears throat> I'm not using heavies like at all. Let my stamina regen. Okay, take that. Take that. Take that. Take that. I let that one happen. Okay, good, good, good. Damn it. Okay, and I really need. Like, if I see her winding up. I just need to put my shield up. Okay. Okay, take the heal. You're going for it. Okay, you're at half. This is where you're gonna start getting feisty. Oh my god. Pop you just to be. Okay. 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 I 
can take your entire combo. There's nothing I need to be worried about. One, two, three. Okay, and then you come up again, and I didn't have my shield up. One, two, three. I don't like it how bosses can just stick you in a corner <laughs> and not let you go. <laughs> like they'll just they'll just sit there and like there's no like the entire like all your invincibility frames are at the start and like middle of your roll, not the end. So as you're essentially rolling through a massive boss enemy, you are by the time you are done, fucking Christ, by the time you are done with the roll, the boss can just turn around and tag you, which kind of sucks. But I will say, I think, I think this stream has maxed the number of deaths. <laughs> like, I'm not keeping a per count, per stream count, but I am willing to bet that this is the one that has the most deaths in it, in, uh, in one, because... I've had a few attempts on on each um, on each boss. There we go. But I can definitely do this boss. I this boss is figured out for me. I'm just doing idiot things. Like I didn't need to roll away from that boss. I could have just finished the entire fight in that corner. There actually was no there's actually no reason for me not to do that fight. Like, I can do it. Like, the entire fight can be done in a corner if I need it to be. You're in combo land now. One, two, three. Fuck! Damn. Okay. That one was me not putting my shield up fast enough. Instead of... I want to move away from her so I could see her better. Um, without my shield up. Because I would go faster without my shield up. However, that let me be hit by the barrage. Oh my god, are you fucking... Oh, I hate you. Why would you put a big-ass fucking honking enemy right in the way of the boss? Uh, why do you keep dying to the boss if you got it done? Oh, you know, I'm a slut for good orchestra music. Can't let it end. Um, yeah. Yeah, basically. Also, you know, I'm... You know, all the gold was burning a hole in my pocket. I really need to get rid of it. Um. Uh. You know, I'm gonna... I'm gonna save the... I'm gonna save the lightning for... For latter half of the fight. Fuck! Okay. Need to remember that. Shit. I need to stop being so greedy. I'm getting impatient. be on the get okay, one good cool okay, I don't have unlimited stamina okay 
So I need to make good use of this. <sighs> For the melee. Good. For the melee. Okay. Combo land now. Fuck. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, okay, you just went right into another three combo. Oh, okay. Yeah, you bastard. Fuck! Uh, <laughs> I have all the tools necessary. Um. Okay, so maybe lightning. Okay, so let's try a different charm. Let's try a different charm. Um... Let's add fire to my said fire. Maybe maybe she's weak to fire or something. I don't know, but speed might not be the best thing to be rocking. Shield is good. It's exactly what I need. My weapon is what I need. Frankly, and like, the thing is I need to be using the light weapon, otherwise I will use too much stamina with my, with my, um, with my Warhammer to do anything. Okay, went for the melee. Okay. Fuck. I was looking at the damage and not her health. Or, no, I was looking at her health and not my stamina or anything. Fuck! Why did I try and dodge out of that? Should have just put my shield. Ugh. Come on! Come on, buddy! No, Master, stop hitting me, please. <laughs> <sighs> uh, 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 uh. Uh, I'm like so damn close. Like I can taste it. My damage is there. Damn, everything on this boss is Neutral except 100 on strike. Do as you will. Uh, so basically, there's no. So what you're saying is there's no elemental weaknesses. It's just neutral. So chances are this. Did the fire damage even do anything? Um. Uh. Okay, I'll go back to attack speed then. Do that. Gonna start the bot. I'm just gonna use that to start now. Try and get him to phase two as quickly as possible. Okay. That was risky, so I cannot do three heavies. Probably get two out. Okay. Can't get two out before a melee. Okay. Get 
three out if I dodge the correct side of this bitch. Go for the melee, please. One. Okay. Two. One. Okay. Into combo territory. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. Heal up. One, two, three. Okay. Interestingly enough, it seems like the melee only takes stamina on that first hit. Fuck. Everything past that, it doesn't, doesn't actually take. Uh, okay. One, uh, hey. Okay, okay. One, two, three. There we go! There we go! Knew it! Got, I got zero salt for that. <laughs> I got zero salt for killing her. It's bullshit. I don't, this is so mean. Look at this. <laughs> look at the, look at these assholes. Um... Question, do I need... Putting two chests over here. Demon Hydate, Demon Kota, okay. Yeah, knew it. Saw it! It's so mean! <laughs> um... Don't even know that it was safe, but I decided to take it anyway. And I don't need a box of salt. There we go. Broken knees. Okay, so that's 14. 15 is where? 15 is Crans Pass? Didn't I already like do Crans Pass? <laughs> Okay, but good to good to be done with that. Um. Okay. Oh wait, now I. Okay, that's it. That's the. That's the. That's the reason. Because Cran's Pass was I couldn't go any further to the right because um. Uh, because there were, I think it was, yeah, it was this. There we go. Had to be on the right side of it. Oh, another boss immediately. Holy damage and roll. Try kill. Try using poison. Try poison and flame. Okay. Didn't think I was going right into another boss fight. Oh well. <laughs> um. Uh. You know, I have I have half a I have half a level. I'm going to... I'm going to... just finish out the rest of the level, so I can at least... have something to show for my pain and misery. Red Hollow Cages... Yeah, look at that. Look at this down here. There's stuff I can explore still.
go. Okay. Son of a bitch. Okay. God, yeah. The, you can tell this area is a lot earlier because of the salt that you get. It's just nothing. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go back to uh, All Reliable. <laughs> when in doubt, just go to Fort Beyond the Mire. When in doubt. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that that is just the safest option known to man. Yeet. There we go. <laughs> it, it is just the it's just the best place. Like there's a good amount of people here that give good amounts of s salt. If I could probably count. In fact, I probably should, but <laughs> like it's a pretty good place to grind salt. Level up, eleven thousand two hundred. Perfect. Tree of skill. Have four now. Um, it's debating doing this. Help him out. Make equip load. Um, yeah, do that. Boom. Equip load better now. Okay, so now I get good roll if I'm two-handing. My shield's weight is enough is, is such that um my shield's weight is such that I am encumbered. However, if I put on this ring, no, I'm still encumbered. But it is, yeah, with it, 49. Yeah, it's 10 pound shield. Um, so that's pretty darn good. Um, okay. So let's, um, come to you, upgrade. Do I have the, let's see, no, I don't. Um, I didn't grind out the transmutation material. Do I have anything for you? Did I somehow, okay, so I got another torture here. So there are a couple things that I could just try. But let's go, let's go check out Kran's Pass boss. Let's go see if I can't, let's go see if I can't do this. Like do it nice and easy, nice, simple, you know, no problems. No problems here, you know, it's, go, it's gonna be easy, right? Like, nothing, like, there's no way that this thing could hurt me, right? Like, I'm gonna one-shot this, right? Like, come on. Let's be real here. I'm 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 a pro gamer, man. Use good physical shield. Okay. Um, yeah, I do need to remember that I did change this off. Um, okay. There we go. Poison and dodge. Okay, so I'm gonna primarily be trying to rely on two hand in this thing, but if I do need a good shield, okay. Ronin Cran. Okay. Okay. I really don't know what's going on with him. Wow, okay. Okay. Run crayon stolen. Okay, he doesn't seem too bad. Um, yeah, he doesn't seem too bad. 
frankly to the point where I might be able to just drop my like heavy armor down a bit. Yeah, okay, so now I have good shield with or good good uh good roll with that and that. Uh, Bandage ring, reduce wounding effect, increase endurance. Yeah, I need those on. Uh, increase attack speed, reach, illuminates fire, focus, decrease stamina. Um, yeah, let's let's put that on. See, really wish these weren't here, because see, it's mean because I have to put them on and like have to I have to put it on to get through. Then take it off to get through again. <laughs> then put it on to get through again. It's kind of annoying. Kind of obnoxious. Okay. I have no idea what that thing was about. What that status it equipped. Okay. After attacking, I can't. Remember, I can now also incorporate um, rolls into my Combo. Ooh, okay. <sighs> okay, you just did a spin. See, I don't know what those things at the top are about. Like, like they, they're a thing, but it doesn't give me any, doesn't say, hey, you're poisoned, hey, you're cursed, doesn't tell me anything. It's just, here's a bar filling up. It's not, not sure whether it's good or bad. It just is. Yeah, I think instead of having to have a torch out for these, I think it would be better if it just was more like a, or if it was just like even something else on the D-pad, like instead of down, it was up to just toggle what you wanted. Um, I think overall I'm doing pretty all right. Um... Okay, so that's a triple. Okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, well, that's unfortunate. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's see, I would really like it. Um, should I try it with this? I'd have to him so many more times, though. <laughs> um, because, like, there is, like, something very satisfying, right, about hitting an enemy multiple times instead of just one. And then you 
and you make some achievement like Dex main defeat of boss while only rolling to dodge damage. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I do know in Dark Souls there's like a like a Thorn set where like you can do damage by rolling into people. <laughs> Twitch, stop deleting my messages. <laughs> yeah, Twitch, come on, man. So that's healing, grasping. Maybe I could. Increases your defense to lightning, defense to strike, maybe? Increases gold finds, so obtained. Um, regenerate HP. I could have two of those on. Not sure how good it is. It's definitely very passive. Locks moves, stamina to one third. Yeah, so that's not stamina. What I was looking at. Um, piece of item finery. Yeah. Okay. So I think I just need to be. Honestly, I think I'm having it all right. Like, I think what I think the main issue is that, like, I'm not, not holding out for his combos. Oh, yeah, I should like I should have held my shield up there. And I still don't know what this guy's deal is. Like does this just make him faster? Okay, so when I heal, the bar pops up at the top. Like that's that bar's meaning. And I don't know what the meaning of that bar actually is. go. I have no idea what that bar and stuff is. No idea. Could not tell you. But I beat the boss and that's all that matters. There we go. Ronin Kranz Ash. You know, I never looked at the Beast Jerry for um, the other ones. Um, Stench Most Foul. Leprous. No. Marauder. The Third Lamb. A shadow of her former glory, the third lamb is the bound and broken thrall of the untouched Inquisitor. There's a time when this hippogriff had pride, the praise of her master, and a name, but the Inquisitor saw sin in these things and saw to it that they became sacrifices like the lamb itself. Ah, okay. Because, what, the the first lamb is that lamb that the, the what Jesus' brothers sacrificed to make them think Jesus was dead or something? Or one of the biblical people dead. The second one would have been Jesus himself, and I guess this is the third. <laughs> um, as far as I remember, the false jester, formidable kraken of undefined shape, the false jester assumed this form to lure, snare, and impale adventurers in search of the true jester. Um, the untouched inquisitor, uh, Alastair, true priest, a light voice of her voice, the untouched inquisitor, holy man who saw cinema was once called the dome of light. He saw to it that... 
uh, that that with sin was made sacrifice, so the untouched could flourish. The first lamb was the congregation. Okay, the second lamb was Linnea, the dome's lady of light, and the third lamb was Kanoa, her beloved pet. Ah, okay. So completely off the dot. Like if I just read the, if I just read the um, if I just read the thing, would have been that. <laughs> Gonna start giving the stats while talking like two sport commentary. Light and flashy. Uh, Whisper Lady, Drown Porcelain, The Wrathful Dead, uh, nah. Merdellium All, The Insectoid Kraken, The Murderfly, The Queen of Moonless Sky. She exists partially in the ethereal fabric of fire and sky, tends just weaving in and out of celestial realm. Okay, so she is kind of like uh, a bright, a Um, Okay, Mother Merrow, Mimiku, <laughs> Mimiku. Ravenous tentacle crack in the Mimiko are experts of camouflage, capable of convincingly disguising a variety of inanimate objects. Unfortunately, the Mimiko on this island learned fairly quickly that mimicking an enticing chest is the surest way to get fed. Assholes. Um, okay. So let's... Let's come and level over here. Do that. Level up. Boom. Uh, no, I do not want to take the oath. Screw those guys. Um, okay. Uh, so we got that. Willpower. Um, okay. Willpower. That's a strength. Then up the shields. Do I even... Like, I know I'm not going to be using shields anymore. So it might just be worth it for me to... Uh, but I'd have to go through decks to get there. Like, I want this poultice. Um, okay. Are there any other places that I could go for, like, strength? Um, I could wield class 1 swords. Great swords. That's a willpower. Proves magic. Um, I'm just trying to find ways to get additional heals while also buffing myself in good ways. Daggers is willpower. Uh. Yeah, so if I go this way, right, I would get... Oh, that's two decks. I don't like that. Uh, that's endurance. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, uh, six to get that heal. Versus one, two, seven... Eight. I was looking at the boar flashy. The heavyweight beast Cran is looking for a win after last week's loss to the third lamb. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I do still want to get to that. Increase my armor thing. Well, power drop rate. Um, I could go down here and just get class five hammers and axes, but that probably isn't the most useful way. Because I do want strength. I want to increase my my body. Because I got 35 strength right now. Um, okay. So, you know what? Let's, let's just have it be a beeline towards the next Pulse Dispouch. I think that that's a worthy... I think that's a worthy way to spend the point. Because I'm also gaining a strength here and allowing myself to wield swords in case I ever need to. Uh, because I don't want to waste them on dexterity. But if I... Because if I get this, willpower, good. Get this, endurance, good. Get this, dexterity, bad, but it's only one instead of two. Get this, stamina, good. Heal. Like, uh, that's right, Light. He has the right bulk and pressure to win against Bison, but he tends to get set in the same combos. Moy, the little man, will see right through him for the match. We'll be right back after these short messages. Brought to you by... <laughs> Icy Hot. Presented by Shaquille O'Neal. Uh, okay. So Kran's Pass was there, so now I am going back to the Ziggurat of Dust... So, I presume I was actually supposed to go from the other way. Don't do it. Okay, give me what's in here. 
Twisted Heart. What the hell is that? Bag o' Earth. Oh, it's a key item. Okay. Twisted Heart. Heart of a vanquished beast, thorny and twisted by ancient sin. Okay, so it's an upgrade material. Good to know. The Ruined Temple. Uh, that is number 17. And it's a little bit before I'm... Stone Guide. Cool. Cool. <laughs> and we take those wins. We take those Ws. Fuck. Damn it. <laughs> of course. Okay, so three heavies. And there's nothing here. A King's Orders. Hey, that's what I needed to upgrade this, right? This a little bit more, I think? Or was that Lord's Orders? This is going to be fun testing my quick wit and Twitch matches his lair cap. <laughs> yeah. Um, open that and that. So I think I'm coming at this from a pretty fortuitous direction. Like, I'm probably... Like, because that... that the path that I came from was um, like a secret path, like that Kranz path one. Yeah. Okay, heal please. There we go. Yeah, so like coming at it from this way is probably almost like going at it backwards. Where I'll be able to get a lot of like the... Um, the um, stuff a lot e easier. Like the, um, uh, the pathways. And nice enough, my hitbox is able to just kind of wreck these guys. Oh. There we go. Okay, can I? Oop. Okay, cool. Ah, damn. I was hoping I could hit below the, uh... You wanna come over here, man? I don't actually want to fight you. I just want to kill you. It's, it's pretty good for me. It's a pretty good deal. All things considered. Oh, God. Oh. Four lights. There we go. Thing of arms ear. <laughs> and I already have another level, which is good. Um, if I can figure out how to get to the ziggurat of dust. I think it's just going up. For the most part. Oh, hello there. Does it know what I have done? No. I take the things I desire. I've taken so many things from so many people. Souls like scraps, bound in dying flesh, I claim them. Kingdoms of dust and lies, pretty princes, corrupt lords, I claim them. Okay, cool. You don't seem like a very nice fellow. And I was definitely supposed to come at this area from a different direction. Uh, most likely. But, I got the sanctuary. And that sanctuary either means I'm going into a boss fight or something else. Um, 
Now, I would really like to level. And I need to call it anyway. So, if I end game, recent sanctuary. Um, <laughs> Gran is down and out. He's not getting back up either. Let's get a few words from his coach. Have <laughs> Yeah, you, you know, he was a pretty good guy, you know. He was pretty, he was all right at fighting, but, you know, you know, it's it, it's tough, man. It's really tough when, you know, you're, you're fighting this small guy, right, like half your size, but he's using a big weapon, you know. It's, it's tough to gauge that distance. And when he has a shield that, like, just blocks all damage, it's not much my main man can do. Okay. Tree of skill... So, that goes up to there, give me some more willpower, and then we're going to go there, and then it'll actually let me wear class 1 light armor, which will be pretty good for when I'm figuring out, um, like, places where it's like, hey, I need to, um, well, actually, should I? How do I want to, you know, like, yeah, travel. Oh right, yeah, Kranz Pass. Cause I don't have any places. Yeah. Um. Okay. Let's see. I don't know it. Well. Okay. You know, what? I'm gonna get back to that small area. I'm just gonna try and run past everything. And um, and I'm gonna end the stream there. Because it is <laughs> it is 9:40, and I. Do not want to be dead tired for Thursday because I'm getting my booster tomorrow. He's a tough kid. Wouldn't have taken him if he wasn't. Gonna start working on breaking those patterns and fake outs. Shield's tricky, but I know my main man can bust through it in files next year. <laughs> well, we believe in you. <laughs> I think I, th I think we all agree that if you put your mind to it, you can achieve it. Okay. Okay. So, two lights is what that takes. Gonna jump over that. Oh, you bitch. There we go. Do that. Okay, just gonna. Okay, cool. Oh, is that like this type of? Is that just like this type of heal, right? It puts a gauge at the top. Maybe like that's the lily red wine. Maybe there's a like a drunken like feature. Oh, you see yours. Come on. Oh my god, are you fucking... Come on, man. There we go. Now we're getting an exclusive moment with Bison. How'd you manage to come back after getting smacked around for three whole rounds? Well, you know... You know, like... Like, you know, if you put your mind to it, and you really just really just want to smack that guy in the face and once you learn his combos you know it's not it's not too bad it's not too bad you know definitely a tough cookie not gonna lie he you know i'm usually more of like a one two shot kind of guy but guy took me around three you know pretty impressive all things considered gotta hand it to him not a lightweight by any means you know i honestly wouldn't want to go for a fourth round not sure how i would handle it uh, okay. I am going to end this here because, boy howdy, oh, that was a lot of progress, a lot of good things. Oof, shoulders. But, uh, yeah, so that was that. Um, due to how this weekend and timing might be, I'm not sure, um, how streams are gonna be. Um... I'm debating 
on doing a stream because normally I stream on Fridays and Saturdays, but Friday I know I'm not going to be able to do because of um, Christmas Eve plans. And on Christmas, I'm not sure whether I, I even want to stream. Thank you, Bison. Back to you, Light in the Tower. <laughs> um, not sure if I'm even going to want to stream on Christmas. And then uh, the day after is my birthday, so I'm probably not going to have the time to stream then. So uh, I'm debating whether or not I stream tomorrow. If I do, I think what I'm going to have, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the... Um, Duolingo stream instead of uh, Trails in the Sky, I think I will I think I'll just essentially have an off week from Trails in the Sky uh, and then go back to Salt and Sanctuary on Monday and, went, and Wednesday of next week. I think that will be best. Um, I really should have drank some water throughout this stream to give myself uh, some kind of hydration. <laughs> but honestly, for someone who uh, who was not fully hydrated, I think I performed rather well. But yeah, so if I do stream, it will be tomorrow, and it will be the Duolingo stream that uh, Mr. Light was uh, generous enough to help us meet yesterday with, um, or on Monday with the uh, gifted subs, so... Thank you very much, and I plan to make good on that uh, that sub goal. And uh, yeah, so this is what I'm going to call for the night because of all the prior stayed reasons. No need to go over it again. But I hope you all had a very nice night. Thank you, Mr. Light, for dropping by and uh, giving me the interesting commentary and also the good hints on uh, on a couple of the bosses. But uh, yeah. I think uh, I think I performed pretty well tonight, uh, and I hope you all have a good rest of your week and potentially join me tomorrow. But uh, hope you all have a very nice night, and uh, we'll see you again next time. Bye.